Hi, what's going on guys? This is going to be a to the point video of how to get all the plane parts, build the plane, and how to get all the doors open to get to the parts on the new Mob of the Dead Black Ops 2 zombie DLC. If you're looking for a specific part or a specific door, I'm going to put the time code in the description below. Uh, just click to get to there, because otherwise it's really annoying going through these walkthrough videos just trying to find the one part you want. Um, I'm going to show you how... Oh, I'm going to number the parts and how they appear in the description below um, on the list. Um, the gameplay you're going to see is not going to get them in that specific order. I'm going to show you how to get it in an order, if you're doing it on your own especially, that's going to be able to get you the plane at a really low round. It's also going to be off to a really strong start to have loads and loads of money. And um, what this involves is just get 1,000 points from round one and you're going to end uh, exit through the door here on the right side of the first corridor. Now I'd recommend you play until the warden key spawns here on this side because this is going to allow you to get off to this good start I'm talking about. Um, to get Warden Key, you just down yourself a nearby panel on the wall, and you're going to jump through the afterlife door to the side of it, overload that console, and before you go, the, uh, go and get the key, go through this door and follow this little jump pattern, just keep running to the end, jump up to there, jump up to this one, you run to the end of here, and overload this panel, that's going to open the door to the first plane part. Uh, so go back to your body, obviously, revive yourself and this is the door you open there that's the laundrette don't forget to take the key before you go down there I've managed to do that a few times and you're gonna need the warden key and one afterlife to get every single plane part um, so first of all we're gonna go and unlock it do not forget to unlock things before you go into afterlife mode you cannot unlock doors while you're in afterlife and you will waste it I've also managed to do that a few times and it's very very annoying and once you've done that, there's a panel at the end you can put yourself into afterlife mode with. Just go back to the exact same room there. And there's going to be a panel on the right side that you need to overload. Or charge. And then go back to the room and activate the washing machine. And um, what the washing machine does is spawn a big mob of zombies. Uh, it's going to block off the room as well, so you can't get out. And the reason I did it this way is because the zombies it spawns correspond to whatever round you're on. So, because we're still on round one, this is going to spawn a load of round one zombies, which means they're going to be really easy to farm, they're going to be one stab kill, and the rounds aren't going to move on until you've killed all the zombies, and after it's finished spawning, it's going to appear there in the washing machine, and there you go, that's part one. What we're going to do now is move across to the other side of the map, and you can do this by going through the ski lift, or you can do it by going through the basement. Now, I would recommend doing it through the basement, that's what I'm going to do here, and the reason I say that is there is a plane part in the basement and you're going to have to go and get that anyway so you may as well kill two birds with one stone. Um, you're going to need 3,000 points to get to the area but you're also going to need another 1,000 points before you can grab the part. I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So once you're down here we're going to go down the spiral all the way to the bottom and we'll show you why you need you need 1,000 points before you attempt to get this one. I can't stress that enough. Remember to unlock that cabinet first, and then you're going to go all the way back up to the top. And there's going to be a panel on the wall that you can put yourself into afterlife mode with. Um, remember, do not do this before you have a thousand extra points, because the door at the bottom, you've got a limited time to go and get the plane part. And unless you have a thousand points, you cannot open the door to get it. So so you're going to put yourself into afterlife mode here and you're going to go back down the staircase and you're going to see the numbers on the way down and then you just need to input them into the panel at the bottom just hit right trigger the corresponding amount of times and if you get it right you'll get a little squeaky noise telling you you've got it right and then just go back up and get into your body once you're back in your body you can run all the way to the bottom and this door on the right is what is going to be your 1000 points once you're through the door just simply keep going down Keep heading left, left, and left. Remember to do this at the end of the round, by the way. Um, if you do it in midway through the round, you can easily get boxed in this lift area, and it is an absolute nightmare, away, uh, nightmare to shoot your way out. Once you've got it, and to get back out, you're going to have to follow this pathway here, but it's going to cost 2,000 to get out. At this point, I would recommend going back to the laundry room, getting yourself an MP5, which is an absolute beast on this game, by the way. And just farming points for a few rounds. And you've got 3,500 points, you're going to be able to get out of there and you're going to be able to open the outer door to the warden's door uh, which is back at the beginning. We're going to cover that in a minute. First of all you can get a really nice easy plane part which is actually going to be part number five technically. No sorry, 
part number two. Um, part number five is the one back in the basement. Um, so you're gonna down yourself here, and nice and simple, just shot that charge, and the plain parts in here. Obviously, you need to be back in your body to get this. So revive yourself once again. I would always recommend getting the plain parts. Next, you're gonna run to this door down on the left, and this is gonna open up. This is 1,500 points. You're gonna down yourself on this thing here, and you're gonna have to shot three consoles. If you start panicking and forgetting where they are, just follow the blue cable on the floor. Those are gonna lead you to all of them. There's one through this little afterlife door here, and the last one's back in the room still. There's two in the first room. You don't have to do them in any particular order, as far as I know. Um, as long as you get all three, uh, and that's going to shut down the generator, which was in the corner of that room. And that's going to open the outer door to the warden's office, which is back at the end, uh, back at the beginning, sorry. And that's going to be second to last part we get. Um, so once you're back in your body, we're going to start heading back over to the other side. Now, whether you want to get Juggernog, I'm going to leave up to you. I ended up getting it because I'm not a very good solo zombies player. Um, the food you're seeing is actually going to be from like several games because I kept dying right at the end. Shit, no but to get to the warden's office, you're going to go up this door, which is just right opposite the laundry one, and you're only going to have to open that door. It's at 1,000 points. And this is the warden's office here. Now we've opened the outer gate with the consoles back at the other end of the map. Down yourself here, and nice and simple, you're going to jump into this afterlife door which is right above the warden's office door head to the right down these stairs there's a panel that's going to open up the warden's office for you once you're back in your body just simply run through the uh, warden's yeah. office as the padlock Hell, now we've only got part four left to get and that is the easiest part which is and it's on the way to the plane so what the fuck is that to get to the plane area, you're going to be back in this main area around here. You're going to have to open that door and then immediately the door on the left. They're going to cost 1,000 each. Um, as you can probably see, I've been doing a few rounds just to get money. Hitting the mystery box a couple of times, so I've got a decent gun. And you don't have to open any other doors from here. Just running around here, and the last part is there on the right on the cabinet. But before you do that, you need to open up the door to the roof. So to down yourself here, and you're going to go back out of this room as your afterlife self and head to the right instead and this is gonna shoot this afterlife door here do a jump keep tapping a you can jump up and you just shock the panel on the other side of the rooftop door and from then you can just run right back down find your body and get in and then the last panel uh, last part is in there so you don't grab it that time once you do grab it simply go back up to the roof and you build the plane on the end of the ramp Um, once you've got the parts, obviously just run up, build, on, pray to God, and actually get on the plane. Do not go around the side, do not go right at the back. <laughs> I'm panicking like an absolute bitch right now. Uh, just back off a little bit, and there you go, press X. Once you're on the plane, uh, you can choose to watch this if you want, and if you want to ruin the surprise. Um, nothing can actually hurt you once you're on the plane, so don't worry about that. And that is going to take off and take you to the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, anyway, that is how to do it. Um, I'm going to post a couple more zombie related videos. There's a couple of things I want to try out. Uh, but anyway, if you found this useful, um, give it a like. Um, otherwise, give me some feedback. And I will see you later. That's the achievement there, by the way. 75 game points. Quite easy. And I will see you next time, guys.